Yesterday, I sent an email to my list asking them if they will be interested in a software that could save all of your chat GPT history with tax, search, a system, etc. The response that I got was amazing, so I decided to review this software. It's called Prompt Strongbox for ChatGPT, and now that I've dived into the software, I can say that I'm really impressed by the possibilities. If you work a lot with ChatGPT, this is definitely something you might want to consider uh, having as a tool. Uh, as you can see here, I'm now logged into my ChatGPT account. And as you can see here at the left side, look at this. This is the message that I got today. Not seeing what you expected here. Don't worry, your conversation data is preserved. Check back soon. So right now, I cannot even access my history of ChatGPT, not even what I wrote a minute ago inside of ChatGPT. And that's where Prompt Strongbox comes in. As you can see here, all my conversations here are being stored inside of Prompt Strongbox. Now, I'm gonna show you exactly how it works, but before I do so, if you're interested in getting Prompt Strongbox, there's a link in the description below. It will redirect you to my website where you can get it here through one of these links. Uh, you can find some more information here. You can see some upgrades, available upgrades that you can purchase as well. Uh, you can check out the pages separately here. You need the front end in order to get one of these upgrades uh, and you're going to get these free upgrades uh, if you purchase through my link as well. All right, let's dive into this and let me show you how this works. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a live example so you uh, can see how this works. Now, let's say you wanna write an ebook uh, for affiliate marketing. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna type here, write an outline for an affiliate marketing email, uh, ebook, ebook here. So it's going to write an outline as you can see here for a affiliate marketing ebook. Now, once this is done, uh, I can say here, store conversation. You see that? And this is a plugin, a Chrome plugin that you install when you purchase uh, Prompt Strongbox. Now, when I click on store conversation, it's being stored inside of my account. So when I go back here and I refresh my account here, so now it says write in detail. Now, when I refresh this account, look what happens. Write an outline for an affiliate marketing ebook. Now, as you can see here, we have an outline. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say, write the introduction, uh, introduction chapter. And now it's going to write the introduction chapter here. Introduction, affiliate marketing popular, blah, blah, blah. So what I'm gonna do next here, so this is the introduction. And what I can do here, is you, you could write out everything. You could say, write the full chapter. So here it ha only has written the, the conversation here for the for introduction, but I can also say, for example, uh, write the full chapter two, and then I can paste this in here, getting started with affiliate marketing uh, with all the subjects uh, included. Here, and it's going to write chapter two here for me. Uh, it's going to add the chapters as well. So now I can see here, as you can see here, identify, research, access competition, select the right affiliate program here. It's going to write a bunch of stuff. And this is really cool. If you haven't checked out ChatGPT, you really should go Google it, go YouTube it. This is one of the most amazing things ever developed uh, in history. So. Let's say we want to store this conversation. I can click here on store conversation and now it will be stored inside of my account. So when I refresh this, it's still in here. Um, but when I go to the details, you'll actually see that it has multiple chapters here. Do you see that? So this is the first chapter, write an outline. And then in here we say, write the introduction chapter. And then we have write the full chapter two, getting started with affiliate marketing. So as you can see, each chapter here has been added to my prompt Strongbox account. And this is a backup. You can see that in here. Now, as you can see, there's also one here, which is called editable. And that means uh, every backup that you make will be the original. But when you go inside of the details here, you can also clone your article here or whatever you type with ChatGPT. When I go back to the dashboard here, you can see this is a clone. So when I open this, and 
here I can say uh, my review affiliate marketing book here. And what I can do now is I can edit each part in here. So here it says write an outline. I can change this in here. Uh, I can change every detail in here if I like. And then I can save this and it will be stored. So here I can make my uh, modifications to my document, as you can see here. And that's how you store everything inside of your dashboard. Here you can see this one is editable now. Now, then there's a cool second thing here in the main menu. So we have chat. I'm going to explain that a little later. But when we go to content only, what you can do here is you can write full books or full documents, whatever you would like to document. You can do that in here. So when I click on add new, I'm going to say uh, uh, affiliate review course. I'm going to click on create. And now what I can do is I can add content to this specific subject. So when I click on add content, I can go through all my conversations that have been stored inside of my account in my prompt strongbox account. So when I go to affiliate marketing course, and I have multiple in here, I've already done that before. So let's say here, um, write an outline for an affiliate marketing book, ebook here. I have here the same things. Do you see that? So what I can do is I can say, I wanna have the introduction in here. I wanna have uh, the introduction here, then the chapter two, uh, getting started with affiliate marketing. Let's add those. And now you can see those three have been added. But let's say I wanna do something else. I wanna do paid ads, for example, to the same course. I can click here on add content and I can go to the, to the Google Ads that I've uh, created before here, how to get started with Google Ads. Now I can search in here, okay, getting started with Google Ads here. I'm gonna add that one as well. And what I'm gonna do here, I wanna add one at the bottom as well because I also wanna show here uh, Google Video Ads. So I'm, I'm going over these chapters here. I wanna add these two chapters as well. And now I'm gonna add this also to my campaign. Now look at this, I've now, I'm now writing a full book on affiliate marketing in here, uh, which all has been added to this specific uh, subject here. And if you like, you can also add content here in between. Do you see that? Here's the, the first chapter, here's the second. I can click on add content and I can add content in between as well. And now when I go to my content only here, you can see here, this is my affiliate review course. I can go to the details. I can edit this again, as you can see here. Um, and here I can store all of my contents. So contents is for the longer things, for eBooks, for emails, for whatever you like to write, you can put that in content. Now then the second thing here is you can also save all of your prompts. So when I go to prompts here, you can see here Tony Robbins style. So you could write emails, for example, in Tony Robbins style, if you want to use this prompt, uh, you know, Sometimes we have to think and think, okay, what do I have to write in order to get the same result as that I got last, got last week when I used ChatGPT? Well, in this case, you go to your prompts only, you go to details, and here it says, I want you to act like Tony Robbins when you write an email for me. Okay, let's copy this, let's create a new conversation, and let's paste that in here um, inside of uh, ChatGPT. Okay, here it says, it's great to connect with you today. I hope mine's blah, blah, blah. Um, this is not exactly what I wanted to show you. Uh, you can do something. Let, let me refresh this one. And let's say, I want you to act like Tony Robbins. This is a very short one, but it's for an example. So you can see that you can store your prompts. So it says, I can provide a motivational advice and guidance in style of Tony Robbins. What are area of your life are you looking to improve or focus on? And you can say, I want to write an email and then you can say what your email is about, blah, 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 blah. So you can save those prompts in here. And let us let me show you uh, a new one here. I want you to act like uh, Tony uh, Robbins and I want uh, him to be 
see in the message. Not sure if CLC is a word, but let's say I want to do something like this. Absolutely, let's do it, blah, blah, blah. Then what you can do here is you can store the conversation in here. So let's stop generating this, store this conversation. And now when I go to uh, my prompts only part in here, I can say I want to add a new prompt and Tony uh, Robbins to, or let's say Salesy. Salesy, let's create this one. And now I can add prompts in here. So here I can say, uh, I can choose the one that we just saved. It should be in the list here. Uh, Tony Robbins Salesy. Not sure where it is. Let me see Tony. Uh, yeah, still see in the message here. Do you see this one? And then here we can select this one. I want to act like Tony Robbins and I want him to be still see in the message. So we can store this one here. And now when we go to our account here, we go to our prompts only. We can see here Tony Robbins still see. We know exactly the, the prompts that we can use other times. And this is not the best example, but it's just to show you that you can save all of your prompts so you don't have to... Uh, rethink about them again. So let me show you something else here. This is another one here. What I want to show you, I think it's this one, article creation. Yeah, so this one is for article creation. If you have to create articles multiple times or for different uh, subjects, etc., you can also add multiple. So as you can see, I've added three uh, prompts in here. I want you to create an affiliate marketing course. Please write an outline of chapters. So what I can do here is I can go to ChatGPT. I can say, okay, I can paste this in here. I can say, okay, start writing this. So here it is writing the outline. Then I could go back to Prompt Strongbox and I can say, okay, write the first full chapter with all three subjects. I can copy this. And once it's done here, I can say, okay, write the first full, uh, first full chapter with all three subjects. Now, something has uh, been, went wrong, but normally uh, ChatGPT should be able to do this. I think maybe it's because I stopped generating, etc. But you get the idea, right? And then I can say, okay, write the final ending for this affiliate marketing course. And you could replace affiliate marketing course for whatever you like to uh, end. And that's the prompt only. Now, then I promise you to explain the chat and the chat function means that you can also start a conversation in here, start a new conversation inside of Prompt Strongbox. So this is demo. Now what you can do is you can write here. So write text, uh, write an email to my mom telling I love her. <laughs> and then when you click on submit here, uh, it says you exceeded your current quota. Please check your plan and billing details. Now, what I want to say here is that you can connect Prompt Strongbox with your OpenAI account. Now, right now, my OpenAI account does not have enough credits in order to write on Prompt Strongbox. But when you add your credit card to OpenAI, uh, you can also write directly inside of Prompt Strongbox. Uh, so you don't need to go here to chat GPT in order to write. Now, then also there's a sub accounts possibility. If you have that option, when you click on add new, you can also create sub accounts with different roles. So you could do extension only, the editor, the manager or full access. So you could also uh, assign specific roles to each one. And then the extension in here, uh, it shows you where to download this extension so that everything will be saved inside of your account. Now, also what you can do here, so let's say I wanna do paid ads, I wanna search for paid ads in here. What I can do here is I can select this tag here and I wanna search in prompts. You can see these articles are all about paid ads. And that's how simple it works when you go to, um, to all of your history here and you want to save something, you can go to details and now you can also add tags. So you can select the parts in here and you can say, I wanna force a tag. So I'm gonna say here, Tony uh, Robbins. 
Now this tag will be applied to this specific part and I can always search when I search for the tag Tony Robbins, I can always find it. So here you can search by tags and you can also search by tags. So when I go to Google, for example, it's going to show you me all the articles that I wrote about Google. So I also have a great system to find everything that I created inside of Prompt Strongbox. And, um, let me see if there's more here when we select things here. Uh, we can also add this to a conversation. So you can select this and you can create a new conversation or let's say you wanna add this to your affiliate marketing course. You simply click on this. You say what you wanna add here. So I'll write a final ending. I wanna add this, copy, boom, and this will be added to that part. Now I'm gonna get an error here. So they probably need to work on this part here. Uh, but it should add it to this part in here, or copy it to that part. I'm going to uh, update them about this error that I just got. Uh, export selected full, so you can export this. You can export the prompts, uh, export the selected answers, uh, add selected uh, to prompts group, so you can also create groups, add selected to content group, force tags, so you can add tags. As you can see, you can clear the sections here when you have selected everything. Um, lots of possibilities inside of prompt strongbox and uh, if you like to get access to this software tool uh, again check out the link in the description i think it's an amazing tool especially now that open ai is down that you not even can see your history so uh, yeah if you'd like to try it out check it out and uh, thank you so much for watching this video please hit that thumbs up if this video was useful and uh, hope to see you in my next review talk soon cheers